morning everyone welcome to uh one of the really sort of most common air raid shelters in medway that probably loads of people have explored this one is the sally port one in uh medway chatham really obviously chatham is part of medway just saying uh and here we are and it's a uh, world war ii air raid shelter and that's pretty much it and you can see it's been used for a lot of different things yeah What's the entrance? And then looking out, you can see what's really cool is that I just don't really want to sort of cut my leg open to be fair. Uh, the benches along here are still here, which is uh, still a really cool thing to find to be fair, even in a place like this. Um, Last time I think I came here was when I was with Luke, and uh, yeah, it's a long, long time ago now. We were in the area because we were doing uh, the reservoir, which isn't a secret, let's be honest. And uh, yeah, so there's a couple here, but this one's the only open one that you can find. So they are dotted along this actual patch of uh, sort of field woodland sort of area, um, and what. I think you'd find really interesting about it is that what they reckon is is that um, instead of it having a military purpose they reckon that it was part of uh, area tilters for a school that used to be around this area and they reckon that that's probably what it was likely for so school children instead however that is only a rumor and I'm never 100% sure about a thing like that but it makes sense because a lot of people I think would have used it thought it would have been for military but definitely residential I think so I could be wrong feel free to put that in the comments below but the information that I found and always knew about always believed about this place was that it was a bit of a misnomer the idea was meant to be for school children uh, instead of any military sort of area shelter so yeah there you go And you can see they've had a whale of a time in here on many occasions I swear them cones have not moved in years but yeah it's a nice one nice to come back and finally document it and you know but then I suppose that's pretty much the point of most of what I've explained before is that I'm just literally catching up on a lot of stuff really so it's nice and there's your typical spider's egg there you go so yes lovely just glass though everywhere disgusting So what I'll do is when I take you outside you'll see that it's got a heavy layer of uh, turf on top which is what area children should be great camouflage and also added protection and that's it yeah lovely little area shelter in Medway that pretty much everybody knows about <laughs> But hey, it's on the channel now, and that's the most important thing. I finally got it on here. You know. There you go, yeah. 
Let's keep going then. Oh. See you outside. Okay, so we're outside now. Um, we're outside the structure. You can see pretty much how it was made. Brick with concrete. And then you've got the reinforcement inside where you can see the corrugated sections. Pretty much a standard Anderson shelter, just a little bit sort of more, uh, a little bit, the construction obviously was just a little bit um, more important to make um, because of how sort of, you know, normally Anderson shelters were sort of very thin tin type thing and they sort of relied on the point that you would sort of cap it over with, you know, grass and everything else and, but with this, as you can see, you probably can't see this, but there's a ridge, which is where this is. A substantial structure for an air raid shelter. And like I said, there are a few dotted around in this woodland. Well, is it woodland? It's difficult to explain really, isn't it? But as you can see, so walking around. So that is it in there, believe it or not. Kind of one of those blinkered you'd miss it unless you sort of saw one side of it. But it's just proof that how many sort of shelters are around, you know, scattered across the UK that you probably didn't even know about because they're sort of so well hidden, basically. But let me take you to another one and you can get to look at that one. So here I am at another one, literally about yards away and as you can see this has been there's no way of getting into that side of it but uh they're all dotted around this part to walk around there you go So different design, but nevertheless, an air raid shelter. See, look, all the will in the world. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So the second air raid shelter that you saw, 
it's really interesting because that practically was open and when I say practically it wasn't enough for my fat self to get through there unfortunately but I reckon it's doable and I'm sure somebody's probably going to beat me to the punch now and go through there because I think people have blatantly gone in that one but I've never gone in that one so I'm kind of like oh you know if I was a little bit more anorexic <laughs> when's that ever a good thing but uh yeah the thing with that bunker though is it's very small so it's not on the level of the the main one that we've just explored it's probably about half the size and uh yeah but i will return and i'll probably do that one and i don't normally say that about videos where i'm definitely going to return and sort of finish off what i started but it'll be like a sequel which i hopefully i'll be able to sort of do at some point soon but yeah anyway that was love it Leo rachel to hope you enjoyed that one stay safe and as always in the immortal words of history because history matters and i'll see y'all very soon take care for now bye